What's up, everyone? Matt here with another Who Are They Real Review. And today, I am here to talk to you about a movie we've all been looking forward to. Or at least I know me and the guys here have. And that is none other than Denny Villeneuve's Doom! Uh, this movie is an epic. It is... Game of the, it's Star Wars meets Lord of the Rings with a dash of the fighting for for the crown like Game of Thrones and fighting for power and it really works and keeps you enthralled. Visually, the film is stunning. Uh, I, I, Timothy Chalamet, Oscar Isaac, Rebecca Ferguson, just amazing. Jason Momoa. I, 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 how can you not love Jason Moore? Um, Dune is everything I could have wanted it to be. And I had minimum, I, I shouldn't say I had, I had minimal, minimal expectations, but I tried going in with no expectations so that I could have the most fun with this as I could. And the film hit that for me. I mean, it did what I thought and wanted it to, to, to do. Now, for those of you who don't know, Dune is about the Atreides family who has just been put in charge of Arrakis, the galaxy's spice uh, capital, or, or world that they mine spice. It's the capital of the galaxy for spice. And they've just been given this responsibility replacing the Harkonnen family. Well, the Harkonnen family run by uh black if I remember the character's name is like the black bishop played by uh uh the elder scars guard names of course forget slipped me at this time um but there, there's kind of, this is where the game of thrones aspect comes in they don't want to lose the power convince convinces the emperor to turn on them and starts to take down the Atreides family and try to end that line because of the fear that there's going to be too much power coming from that family. Well, then it's all about Paul surviving and the journey and tempo and pace wise. This is very much so Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring. Uh, there is a lot going on. It is a long movie, but honestly, it doesn't really feel like it's runtime. Uh, because it keeps you moving at a nice, consistent pace. I do want to say my, my, my Timothy Chalamet just did a fantastic job. And I, I'm, I've I had someone who, who asked me, Oh, how Chalamet in this? Because I'm not really a big Chalamet guy. And I'm like, what movies with Chalamet have you seen then? Because like he's always great. But and they're like, honestly, I don't know. I'm like, if you if you if you're not a Chalamet person, and I don't get why you wouldn't be, Dune is probably the closest you're ever gonna get to seeing him in a live act in, in a big budget property and i don't think we're ever going to see him in the mcu or star wars dune is the first or, or even dceu for that matter dune is the furthest we will ever see him go and if this is the case i'm very very happy I, i'm very happy with what i got because he commands the screen in, in a way that very few actors his age can uh with everything that's going on in Paul's life, how he's able to stay so even keeled is amazing. And it's just incredible. I, this, the story really grabbed me. Rebecca Ferguson, like there, there's this thing they, his, his mother, Rebecca, Fer, played by Rebecca Fer, Ferguson and him. She, she is like a, a witch of the galaxy and they have this power called the voice which is able to command others to do what what they're told. And it's just all this stuff is so cool and so interesting. And I, I, I've never seen either of the original Dune films. Um, I've never read a Dune novel. So to me, 
this was something I wanted to go into blind so I didn't have anything else just kind of setting my setting my standard setting my bar and I can give you guys what I what some would call a virgin review to this series because this film is 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 really fun and it'll keep you interested and just keep you going and that's kind of what you want and for that reason I landed on a 4.5 out of 5 reels for Dune there's a lot going on you're <laughs> If I'll say this, if you can't find yourself watching Star Wars or Lord of the Rings without get without getting tired, and if you can't, if if you do find yourself doing that, I don't know why why are you, you're here anyways to check out this film. But if you if you can't like those kind of films, this isn't going to be for you. I'm just going to be honest. But if you can find yourself watching those films and enjoying them and everything that they are. This is this film. And this is Doom Part 1. When, when the credits pop up, it says Doom Part 1. And reports have said that uh, the performance of this film on HBO Max and box office-wise will not affect Denny Villeneuve's Doom Part 2. And I will say that that's probably my, my one gripe and probably why I bring it to a 4.5 because it feels, when, you, when it ends, you feel a little incomplete. Um, and, and it sucks, but when it's, when it's a film in a series that happens sometimes and I, it's just like, okay, look, it, if doom part two is never were to never see the light of day, I'll, I would be upset, but I feel like this film's going to do so well, especially with the audience who let, let's be honest, general audiences have been looking something to replace Lord of the Rings since it ended, and I think we finally have something here. Sure, there's space aspects to it, but overall, with the massiveness of the story and the denseness of the story, I, I think 20 years later, we finally find a worthy successor, almost 20 years to the day, actually, uh, just a few months off. So, yeah, Dune. Go check it out. It's on HBO Max and in theaters this Friday. I personally would say see it on the biggest screen possible if you can. Um, it is that kind of film. I loved it. It is a, a joy and pleasure to see on screen. Uh, but if you don't find yourself comfortable going to a theater, go watch it at home. Turn it on HBO Max. It's it's a little bit longer. You can probably knock it out in parts if you're not if the kind of person who can just sit through a movie straight through at home. But do Check it out this Friday on HBO Max and then theaters. Uh, I'm Matt over here at Watt Real Entertainment. We got a lot going on, and you need to subscribe to us, like like the videos, all that. Comment, what did you think on the film? Do all that fun stuff, and pay attention to all the fun things we're doing over here at Watt Real Entertainment. And with that, this was another Who Are They Real for you.